Trunk piece from the Permian period, around 270 million years ago, considered the first specimen of plant fossil described in Brazil. In the 19th century, it was transported from the National Museum to Paris by the botanist Jean-Antoine de Guillemin, where it was studied by the renowned French botanist Adolphe Brongniart. In the same work in which this specimen was presented to the international scientific community, a specimen similar to it was described, collected by the German naturalist Carl Friedrich Philipp von Martius, between 1817 and 1820, in a locality located between O. Erich and São Gonçalo Amaranchi, in Piauí. Hello everybody, I'm Lonnie with Everything Nature. Today we're going to talk about one of my favorite fossils, and I've got a lot to show you, so stick around. Imagine, if you will, what happens if a tree falls in the forest? Well, first off, yes, it does make a sound. It makes a lot of sound. Secondly, the tree is now dead, and like all dead things, it will start to decay. It may dry out or get rained on and then start to rot away. Insects may attack it and start eating it and living there, and then a bigger animal may come and tear it up looking for insects to eat. Now imagine we're millions of years in the past, even hundreds of millions. A tree falls and dies, and now it's buried in either mud or maybe a flood comes and just covers the thing up, cuts it off from oxygen. If this happens, it's not gonna rot. It won't slowly decay and disappear. It's just gonna stay there. So what's gonna happen to this tree that's buried and is not gonna rot away? Well, being buried in mud or sediment, the wood of the tree is slowly bit by bit being replaced by the dissolved minerals in the water. If it stays in place and not exposed to any air, the wood will eventually be completely replaced by minerals, resulting in petrified wood.